Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. Not evolution. God, creator. Later on, we learn oh, Jesus Christ. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Take a few moments here. Look at the breath of life. When God created man, Adam, God took the dust of the ground and formed a body. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And that body laid there on the ground until God put into the nostrils. It says God breathed into his nostrils. <clears throat> Think about CPR. Where God breathed into that man life. And he became a living soul. A man is a body, spirit, and soul. Body, soul, and spirit. Our body we can pinch. Our air we breathe. And there, there's a thing in the Bible that to be content. I'm struggling with one prayer request right now. But a vital need of a human being is air. Three minutes, about average. And before death, the lacking of air can cause brain damage. Water, you can go about three days. Food, well, it's a question upon the body, the person itself, but you can't go on not eating forever. You cannot go without drinking liquids, water forever. And you definitely can't go without air. Your forever will be very quick. And then the fourth thing, I didn't even think about this, is sunlight. I always think air, water, and food. And sunlight. Man cannot live without sunlight. Well, isn't it great that God, our creator, created the sun before he created man? Isn't it great that God created, and now Adam was a vegetarian, and men were vegetarians too after Noah came out of the ark. So isn't it great that God made onions, lettuce, apples, oranges, plums, green beans, and tomatoes before he made the man? Isn't that great that God has our, provi our, our provisions for what our body needs? And uh, defy evolution. Because the Bible says also that I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works. And that thy soul knoweth right well. You realize that our air intake also works with our oxygen? That if we were to lack air, we start doing damage to our, our, our blood. We start doing damage to our brain. We start doing damage to our internal organs. And that all the internal organs work with the heart and work with the lungs. I mean, they say evolution, you know, within time, things develop. <clears throat> well, it would have been quite odd for, a, for the human being to be there having lungs in his body and having no breath to be put into those lungs like God did. It'd be great for the body, for Adam, <clears throat> the first man, eating a whole bunch of tomatoes. And they go into his body and they don't have, there's nothing there. Where God gave man a stomach. And the digestion. And then not only with the stomach, but, you know, the intestines and an exit port for our food, shall I say. The anus. I mean, evolution is a lot of, well, it could be, it has to be, and within time. The human body is complex that there is, it had, God made everything to have everything, and it runs. And the thing is with air. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. <clears throat> and Jesus said, let us be content. I'm a, a boss. Food and raiment. Food and raiment. 
And in actuality, with Adam before the fall, clothing wasn't even an option. And they were both naked, the Bible says. But Adam needed the oxygen, air, before he could drink water, before he could eat food. And the sunlight was already there. The air and the sunlight and the food and the water were there before he was a living soul, even before he became a body. <clears throat> and up to you listening to this little message here I, I try to do daily, when's the last time you thought of breath? That we inhale and exhale every day until we die. I know we think about breathing when, you know, we're stuffy and we get a cold and our nostrils are closed. We got to breathe through our mouth. And I use a CPAP machine. And when you can't breathe at night, and, you know, it's hard to use a CPAP machine and breathe and you're, you're grasping for air. I have uh, emphysema from my sin one time smoking. And I remember one time <clears throat> we were walking to our car and I just lost my air and I couldn't breathe and I passed out right on the hood of the car. When you when a man or a human being drowns, the drowning is that they had filled their lungs with water, not with air. Our lungs are not designed for water. And drowning in a lake, in a river, or body of water is the wrong substance has gotten into our lungs. Our lungs don't know how to process water. <clears throat> and then there are breathing where in our lungs we get pollution, exhaust, or, or poisonous gases that our lungs don't know how to handle that. And life for Adam, the first man, is the fact is that God breathed into him, and when a baby's born, and the doctor told me, you know, they don't always slap the baby. The crying of the baby is they take the nose, some kind of plug or something in the nose, nostrils, and when they remove that 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 plug, whatever it is, and that baby gets its first breath of air. Wow. I wonder that's what Adam did when God breathed into him. <clears throat> and that it's interesting that one of the things in life is if we find somebody passed out on, on a street or anywhere, one of the modes is CPR. You breathe in them. You put air into them. That's what God did with Adam. God put Adam, uh, put air into Adam. And it's interesting that we need air before we need water. That's the next one. Before we need food. That's the next one. And then sunlight. Well, I would assume by that order, that's the order of life. First, I mean, God did not give Adam, well, have a drink of water. He didn't do that. Here, Adam, have, have a salad. No, God breathes into his nostrils. Life. <clears throat> Never evolution. And I would assume that maybe the next thing that Adam would have done was he got a drink of water. Now, Jesus Christ says, I'm the water of life. I'm the water of life. And then, eventually, we know Adam would have some food. Jesus said, I'm the bread of life. And we need sunlight. And Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And that every living human being has a body. They've got that spirit that gives them life. And they have the living soul. The life is the spirit of the of the air the oxygen put into it. I mean, they just had that Super Bowl. And without any air in that football, there'd really be no football. 
<clears throat> that I remember a couple years back reading something about with another Super Bowl that there was something about the air in the ball that a team did. Our sample would be like that football, the outer skin, the pig skin of a football. Well, that's our flesh. And inside that football, there's an inner tube. That's our soul. And then inside that inner tube is the air. That's our spirit. Every man has flesh that will go into the grave one day outside the rapture. Every man has a living soul that will go to heaven by Jesus Christ alone or will go off into hell for all eternity for rejecting Jesus Christ. And all man has that spirit inside of him, the breath of life. And the book of Ecclesiastes says that the spirit goes back to God. The spirit is God. The flesh is, here it is. And the soul does go off into eternity. That's the whole realm of man. The breath, the spirit, the soul. God is a spirit. There's our breath. Jesus Christ was in the flesh. God manifests in the flesh. There's our body. God is a living soul. And the Holy Spirit, our, our breath, the spirit. Our air that we breathe. <clears throat> we breathe the same air someone else has breathed. We breathe the same air. If you got a dog, that your dog breathes. If you got a cat, what's your cat breathe? If there's a snake in the room, you got the same air that that snake breathes. Snake, same air for a, a pig. And the science is that vegetation plants takes the carbon dioxide, and I don't know all that stuff. That was back in grade school. And vegetation, what it does with the oxygen, I mean, the air makes oxygen and all that, that was all before the man was created. The creation of God is not an evolution, theistic evolution of God. It is everything had its proper place in order. Except one, the plants were made before the sun. So people would not say, oh, it was a thousand years of creation. It was a day creation. Because if there was a thousand years of plants and then, the thousand, then after the thousand years, sunlight, the plants would have been dead. I mean, God's, God's a great jokester. God is so great, so wonderful. I mean, what, what did the Bible verse say? I will praise thee, for I am faithfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and thy soul knoweth right well. And you want to go down to a shipwreck? You don't pack on food. You don't pack on water. The water all around you. You pack on air tanks. They go into outer space. You need air. You need air tanks. So, one of the things to thank the Lord is that air, is that breathing. And we do it while we're sleeping. And we don't even know we're doing it. We don't even think about it until we get stuffy, nasal congestion, get a cold. Sneezing. And yet we can run our breathing all the way back to Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground, body, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, spirit. And man became a living soul. <clears throat>